Okay. Ah, uh, everyday conundrum. That's what we deal with. I got something to show you. Uh, it'd be kind of fun. I can actually show you how I do this. Uh, I gotta do my own repairs. Uh, of course, I get out here for the storage unit where I'm doing my trash out. Keep in mind, you that this is why one of the things I don't mind about getting started just quite yet because. Man, you would not believe what I did. My, of course, my battery went out. It wasn't the battery. The phone got way too hot. And, um... Yeah. Wait till you see this. This, this is my life. I can make a freaking TV show out of my freaking life. Stupid shit happens. I'm trying to get closer to the storage unit. I, I hear this come. Bam! I'm thinking to myself, who did I kill? Well, I didn't kill anybody or hit anybody. Ready for it? Who do you think that belongs to? This guy. Did I smack that corner right there. Didn't do any damage, looks like, but I left my paint. I guess I can just have the paint. I'm not going to ask about that. There's my my weld that I did by myself. I guess it held on pretty good until I smacked it hard. Uh, there goes another uh, 60 bucks, I think, for one of these fenders. And you got to sand and paint them yourself. I mean, I did a real good job. Well, there goes that one. There we go. That's a leg owl. I hope I don't get a ticket going home. That's extremely illegal. Rocks fly off of that, hit somebody's windshield, or I want to get a ticket. I'm just perfect the power ship the way it looks. I mean, I know it looks good to me, but you know, the top might not like it. But um, I'm going to get pulled over. I've got to travel far. I'm going to avoid the major highways if I can. There's my other one. Oh, I stuffed this the other day at my house. I actually stuffed that one. These things, they're just... I don't know. I mean, I was thought about going with a wider trailer this year, but I don't know. I think I'm good enough at this. But so I'm at the storage unit. I'm going to pick it out, empty my trailer. Got a lot of things in here I got to get. Oh, okay. I'm back here. I was like, holy shit! They put two locks on it. I'm not going to be able to get in. All right, so I have to back up a little bit. But there we go. You're welcome. Thank you. Whatever. I knew something like that was going to happen eventually. I wasn't paying 100% attention. I mean, I was paying attention, but... I don't know. I was looking at the freaking uh, numbers here, and I thought I cleared it. I just snipped it. I mean... Enough to hit it, so... And honest to God, I was not looking there. I mean, I was looked, but I, I'm so used to turning. I took it way too short. I didn't clip it that hard. It's just enough just to... If I had clipped it hard... Uh, it would have probably, I'd probably taken that, that corner out. And you can see just the edge of it caught enough just to pinch it. And when it pinched it, it just snapped it right off. And of course, uh, anyway, that's what I got to deal with. So now I'm going to go empty out this, this, um, this, uh, let me get away so close to my face. I don't like it up here like that. So there you go. Chill back a little bit. Kind of cool, you know. But <laughs> Believe me, I'm not cool. So anyway, so, um, I gotta go in there and take care of this junk. Um, empty it all out. I might show a little bit of that. I'm not quite sure. Uh, let me get it all opened up first and uh, just assess my uh, my damage. I is. I gotta work on my teeth again this weekend. So that's another thing I've been doing on my off time. I've been uh, just getting my teeth done. It's a lot of money. I could have bought a car for what I'm paying for, it, but it needs to be done. Uh, getting all all new teeth in here. So I gotta. Over the years, they just get falling apart. I guess, you know, having different medical issues and stuff like that, it just, your teeth don't handle up as well, but long story short, that's not a big deal. Get it all taken care of. <sighs> this place is, I met somebody up here. I, I used to live out of one of these storage units. I used to actually work out of these things, and, uh, man, I'm not doing that anymore. Got myself a house with a garage, so I'm, I'm done with that. But, well, let me go open this up and see what we got.
close enough. So I'll buy a new one. Well, there you go. Yes, I did rip this off the other day. And uh, this is what we do. We fix our own stuff. Um, I can't afford to have somebody professionally weld this on, so I did it. I learned it myself, actually. I did it last time, put it on. And uh, the other one's ripped off like this, too, from the factory. So I must have done it right because it took a good amount of tugging on that wall to get this off. So uh, I'm going to tack it back on and try to booger weld this thing on. I have to buy another one and then redo it over again. Okay, so there you go. Um, I went ahead and grinded it down to get the metal bare so there's no paint on paint. It's metal on metal. And I'm going to tack weld this in really quick uh, just to get this on there. And I'm going to go back and then beat it. Um, so, like I said, this is something that I've learned on my own, you know, just to fix my own stuff. I mean, uh, you can do this if you try. Um, this is one of those things that I was absolutely scared to do, and uh, I took a stab at it you know I was able to get myself a, uh, a welder and took a bunch of different tries or other stuff failed miserably and then uh, one day I just said eh, let's do it watch some videos and uh, on YouTube and uh, I can't remember which ones I watched but uh, I went out watched a bunch of them and got to learn and so, some of the stuff that I picked up on my own that I actually um, confirmed by watching a professionals do it so that's exactly what I thought so you can figure it out as you go. It's it's a little bit of a, you know. So uh, you know you can you can do this yourself. Um, sometimes you have to. If not, you gotta take it someplace. But it is illegal to drive around without a fender. A um, couple of reasons: uh, the mud and the rain all flies off of it. The rocks will hit other cars. And believe it or not, it could actually even hit your own mirror. It could fling up enough, it, and it looks like junk. Believe me, it looks funny. All right. So as you can see, I went ahead and did my booger up weld. Go back and forth like that with it. I'm not the greatest at it. I mean, I tugged on it pretty hard. It's not coming off. Now I know somebody's going to be looking at these. These are not good welds, but I'm going to keep practicing at it. It's not going nowhere. All right, the same thing I did is last one. I had to push this in to get it a little bit closer. 
I use these just like that to hold this up just like tack it. There's really no way to really hold these things up. So. held. I had to push down with my knee to get it to come in a little bit. Try and do it left-handed. It's not really good. It's just barely on, so I'm going to go ahead and knock it again.
did was scratch it back and forth. I thought you just set it in there, but it's kind of hard to get it. It bounces around sometimes. Uh, I'm not an expert at this, but that's just what I did that makes it work, and that's what I saw some other people doing, but um, getting a little better at it. I, no way, no professional. So, there you go. I got all this stuff on Amazon. I got the gloves. Got this, I can't see. There you are. Okay. Got the helmet on. And, uh, <laughs> it's got an auto darkening in it with a solar uh, battery thing in there. So it automatically, well, that light actually turns it on, but I'll leave it sitting. I put it in a corner of my garage. So every time I open the garage, it actually gets light to it. So, and then you'll have to turn it off. There you go. I don't know if you can see this or not. darker not in there. There you go. See how it turns? You get that green screen. That's the auto darkener. So um anyway so that's what I'm doing. Fixing this up. I'm not gonna show everything but I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of sanding and put a little bit of coat of paint on there just to make it look a little nicer. Yeah. I know these aren't the best that's but they're show no not the best a little better one. Those are terrible but they hold. Those are better not going on there. She's on there pretty good. The last time I did it, I had a, um, I was at a friend's house who was a mechanic, and he's had a friend who was a welder, and I did it, like, that day, and I go to him, and he's yanking on him, and I said, what the hell are you doing? He's like, oh, make sure it ain't gonna fall off. <laughs> Thanks. It didn't come off, so he was okay. He's like, eh, it's okay, it works. So, there you go. So I gotta buy another one of these fenders. They're about 60 bucks a piece. Not including your time to see any fine paint. Now, I wouldn't trust that um, as doing it for a customer or anything like that. So, for myself, it works. Airplanes. So, thank you. Just uh, showing a little bit of what, what we do, what I do to fix your own stuff. You know, you gotta take this stuff to work, so, you know, it's gotta work for you. You gotta fix it, you gotta prepare it, you gotta buy it, you gotta maintain it, you gotta do all this stuff. I was supposed to do a job today, but I was feeling anxiety because I had to finish this, so I just turned around, came back, fixed this thing up, and um, now I feel better. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow, tonight, so typical weather. But anyway, you can see my yard, the project is done back here. Burrs. Getting that all cleaned out. I got the garage. I did a trash out. Got a bunch of materials. Uh, but I loaded them back there for now. So I'm working on the process. I just redid this not too long ago. Got all my stuff in here. Right accessible to the corner of the garage. Uh, put the welder in there. Like I said, the sun hits it right there. So I like to have the helmet there. And it's um, close to the outside. And uh, you can get to it quick. And the rest of the stuff now. I'll have to show it one day once I get it all finished up. But everything's jammed in. I got up my tours and the X marks in the front. The husk farms up here time cutters um, this one's got to get in for warranty work you can see the problems those things are junk they break all the time uh, they're, they're starting to make them better but you think for a thousand dollars they would make that better but anyway I got my own um, this is the other one out here this is nice I would like to get that running again uh, the engine just got a issue with the carburetor on it so I'll get that one back and running that's great for hills so alrighty Thanks.